Hello everybody, my name is Big Citrus and let's get into it. Oh no, they broke Overwatch 2 and they made it bad again. We were so close to greatness and they made it bad again. Um, this is probably going to be the most low effort video I've made because frankly, I just don't want to spend the next five days editing a video about how Overwatch 2 broke my heart and fucking stole my social security number and shot my dog in the head. Like, it's not that serious, but I, I just need to get this video out. Now, so this is going to be like an early 2010s Call of Duty commentary style video where it's literally just me talking over gameplay in the background and basically nothing else going on. If you don't want to hear me talk about my uh, disappointment in Overwatch 2 like I'm its father after it didn't hit a single fucking ball for the entire baseball season and we finally got to the championship game and he just struck out again and I'm wondering if I should have just never got his mother pregnant and I should have married my hot secretary years ago. If that's not interesting to you then I totally understand you just clicking off this video and if you're only subscribed to this channel for like PvP gaming content that's just no longer going to be the direction of this channel these games drain my sanity meter like fucking in amnesia if any of you young whippersnappers remember that game and i'll keep playing them and i'll still even keep playing overwatch 2 it's just not going to be the only thing i talk about in this channel anymore so if that doesn't interest you go ahead and unsubscribe i i honestly do not blame you so let me stop dancing around it so overwatch 2 season 10 is not necessarily bad but it is just a continuation of the downfall of a great franchise i hyped the the hell out of Overwatch 2 Season 9 like most content creators did, and I'm gonna keep it real. Everything about kind of what I was enjoying about Overwatch 2 was kind of thrown out the window with this new season. So Season 7 and 8 of Overwatch 2 were actually probably some of the best seasons for Overwatch we've had in a long time. And I'm not talking like just Overwatch 2, I'm talking Overwatch as a whole. The game did feel very unbalanced, and Tank still felt like the strongest role by a wide margin, but that's kind of how the game is gonna have to be if it's in 5v5. If it's 5v5, tank needs to be the strongest role. Unlike how it is now, we're playing tank is literally like nailing your penis off Ferrari and having someone fucking take that shit from 0 to 90 in about like a split second. Or your clit to the door. Nailing your clit to the door and then someone, you know, taking off in a Ferrari. Or your bussy. We're not sexist or homophobic on the Big Citrus channel, okay? And as someone who avidly probably plays tank more than any other role, it is incredibly depressing to even load into an Overwatch 2 match because I know no matter how hard I try and no matter how hard I work with my team, if we lose that game, I will be the one and blame somehow. The current people who play Overwatch 2 have a combined brain cell of like 0.5. The matchmaking in Overwatch 2 has uh, currently never been worse since the season 9 rank changes and ranked reset. Um, I, I, I didn't think that was somehow possible, but it is so much worse than it was before. Season 9 was something we all really hyped up because of a lot of reasons. Obviously, the rank changes, most of all, were the thing that everyone was kind of just anticipating, and the gameplay changes. Honestly, the rank changes are, honestly, the new rank system, yeah, technically is better. I like how it's structured more, I like being able to see your progress and everything, and honestly, the new gameplay changes with the had characters abilities doing more damage and characters getting more health did help nerf the one shot problem and tanks feeling unkillable kind of just like went out the way but the rank changes and the health pool changes killed the game in two massive ways for a lot of players including myself number one the rank changes it is impossible to climb now you will be hard capped at masters like forever there is such little players above masters right now that your average split of most lobbies is gonna look something like this the majority of the community currently right now is just stuck in like plat diamond elo. Thing is with the current Overwatch 2 rank system is that if you're a bad player, it, you're just bad. Like it's not because you can't climb type shit. You'll be stuck at the lower ranks if you're just a genuinely really bad player. But anyone who's actually decent at the game is never going to find themselves in bronze and silver how it currently stands. Like those matches just aren't real and are comprised of real people. I'm sorry to my bronze and silver players. Look, I, I love you guys. I know you try very hard, but come on. I would say starting from like gold onwards is kind of the real game. The matchmaking is currently so fucked because you have people who got deranked way too hard and should be in like Masters GM Elo who for some reason are stuck in diamond and plat now. And you can say, oh, these people were just boosted and deranked really hard. No, the rank system just genuinely is fucked. Winning like five matches in a row and it's saying expect it, expect it, and then just about to get a win streak and then you lose three or four matches in a row and it gives you volatile. It sets you back farther before from where you started is really bad. The current rank system is honestly worse than the Overwatch 1 rank system, and I never thought I would say that. It's not even the kind of thing where, like, if you don't have 10 hours to play every day, you can't climb. It's just that you have to get insanely lucky and go on a win streak, or you're never gonna get enough percentage to actually climb, because it takes forever 
forever to rank up at the higher ranks. And I'm not the like super high ranks, like past diamond, it is a grind. It's currently just a horrible system and I have no interest in playing ranked ever again. Also, like I said, the matchmaking in this game is currently awful. It'll either put you with people that it expects to carry you and you'll be in a lobby that is a much higher rank than you should be playing in, or at least that's what the MMR system will think, or more average, it'll put you in a lobby full of people, especially if you're solo queuing or duo queuing, that it expects you to carry them because they should not be in this lobby. And it is a miserable fucking experience because no matter how hard, no matter how well you do, if you lose that game, it's over. And also there's currently just no reason to even like be a tank player in Overwatch 2. There's literally no reason to counter swap on the game currently. Some people will say that it was like that since Overwatch 2 began. I disagree. I think if you played exceptional at a specific character, specifically on tank, you could get away with kind of playing in whatever play style you like to play. But now it does not feel that way at all. Like if you're playing a tank without a shield, I'm just gonna go Roadhog or Malga and there's kind of no reason for me not to. If my team won't play with me and their tank is, I just have to go ball. It's the only answer. Also, currently, Orisa is meta again, which I like Orisa. She's fun to play, but she's not at all fun to play against. And that kind of describes all of the tanks on Overwatch 2. Like, there's no reason just to immediately swap D.Va. If there's a D.Va rolling you, you just should swap Zarya. There's no reason. Same thing when there's a Winston, you should just swap D.Va, that Rock, Paper, Scissors thing. And there is just no reason to Ryan Mirror ever in this game because you can just counter swap a shitty character or you can just go Doomfist or Orisa and just absolutely slap his dick. It's just incredibly depressing to play Reinhardt currently. The two most fun tanks in the entire game to watch people play are Ryan and Winston, and those characters are kind of eh right now, depending on what rank you're at. And when those characters in the history of Overwatch have been bad, the game hasn't been fun to play. And that's kind of just all there is. I judge the quality of the game by if Reiner Winston is meta. And if Reiner Winston is meta, it was usually one of the best metas to ever exist in Overwatch. The tanks that can bully people the most are the only tanks that currently matter on the game. It's not about like actually being a tank and actually blocking damage anymore because it's basically impossible to do that on the current patch of the game. With the increased projectile sizes and increased damage, everything kills you way too quickly as a tank. All shield tanks are kind of just horrible and all damage blocking abilities with the increased projectiles don't even work half the time anymore. And playing tank, you are meant to be buffed and supported by your team. If your team is not playing with you, you will always get blamed and you will always die. You can be pushing the objective, getting people off the point, picking a support. But if you die and your team's not there because, oh, there was a tracer in our back line and for some reason they can't 4v1 the tracer, you will get blamed every time because that's just how the Overwatch community has always been. It has always been the mantra of it's someone else's fault. I still like the game, I still think the gameplay is fast, fluid, and fun, and I love the world of Overwatch and everything, but some of these new characters they've been adding are just not fucking it, man. Like, Life Weaver is not a character that should be in this game. I'm sorry, like, fundamentally a character who can just, like, fucking build a Fortnite tower and go 90 feet in the air and can make someone invulnerable and pull them away from 900 meters away just doesn't belong in the game. Kiriko is still just too annoying and too strong with her fucking five ways to get out of any situation at all times. Mauga is just a brain dead character who's entirely numbers based. He either does too much damage or too little. Venture is genuinely fun and enjoyable though. I will give them that. I am a big fan of Venture as are most people. Also like Alari, just like the character with like a turret that heals you. I don't know. I don't fuck with any of the new Overwatch 2 heroes and honestly, I think we just needed to stop adding tanks and supports as much as we can and more DPS heroes actually would have been better for the game because it is the most fun and versatile role. I'll be clear, I still like this game, I still have fun playing it with friends and everything, and I still think the charm of this game is something that is so enjoyable, and I think it is the best team-oriented game, because when you're actually playing with a team, you guys are actually working together and using all of your abilities in combination, it is the most satisfying game to play on the entire planet. But that just feels like something that the game is steering more and more away from, and I'm not really fucking with it, I'm gonna keep it real. If your team doesn't work with you in this game, you should just go a character who can just do their own thing and not play with their team at all, and you will succeed infinitely more. That's why Sombra, Hammond, and Moira are so strong at every rank. And honestly, I don't want to play a game where those are the three most meta characters at most ranks except for like GM. I really don't. 
Now, I disagree with a lot of people who said that Overwatch should go back to 6v6. Even back in Season 8 when we first got Mauga and the Mauga meta of the unkillable tank thing, that was mostly just due to how strong supports were at the time, not how strong the tank role and the character was. With his self-healing, Mauga with good supports on him like Ana and Kiriko, he was able to stay alive infinitely. That was because of how strong the support role was, and once supports got nerfed more, the game honestly felt more balanced than ever. They keep on buffing and buffing things, and the answer is just to nerf things more. Also, they found a way to nerf Genji again. Don't worry, I'm gonna have a video coming out about that soon, related to just all competitive games kind of being soul-crushing when it comes to fun. But now I honestly do think, with the new health pools and the new projectile sizes and everything, and the way that ranked is currently structured and everything, I think that 6v6 does desperately need to make a return. If you're gonna have tanks' actual, like, defensive capabilities be dog shit and their offensive capabilities being the only thing that matters, then, yeah, we need to bring back 6v6. You need to have the tank roll mean something because Overwatch has always been structured around the tank roll. The DPS are there to get picks and help the tank kill thing, and the supports are there to keep both of them alive. And the game's at its best when it functioned that way. And now it functions kind of in the complete opposite way, where the supports and the DPS are there to get the kills and push objectives and everything, and the tank is just there to support them. It's like, some people might say that makes more sense, but in practice, it does not feel fun at fucking all. So yeah, I honestly thought Season 9 was going to be incredibly fun, but honestly, now I really just don't give a fuck. Like, with some of these minor changes and some of the new heroes they added, honestly, they kind of killed my, like, current, like, interest in the game just completely. Like, yeah, the new monetization updates and everything are great, and they are making good changes to the game. Like, that's not my issue. My issue is mainly just everything surrounding that. It is miserable. I know I made a video on how Apex was bad recently, but I, I kind of want to say that I actually think a lot of the Apex changes they made recently were good, so. It took Respawn like two years, but but they finally made the a game better, and I'm, I've been enjoying that more. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll be sick of it too in like three weeks, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll make more Apex content. I don't know, let me know if you want to see that below. I will never not love Overwatch, I will always love Overwatch, and I'll always continue to play Overwatch, but I just want to say that at the current moment, this is the worst Overwatch 2 has ever been, and it is a massive fucking fumble from Blizzard. If you're having fun with Overwatch and everything, that's still great, and I'm sure I'll talk about it more in the future, but there's like a Camille Jillian billion games in the world, so I, I, I kind of want to talk more about those instead. Hey, you should go watch my video on the Fallout show. Anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts and everything. Uh, hopefully this wasn't a really boring, depressing video. It probably was. <laughs> It's just sad that Season 10 literally didn't remedy anything besides the monetization and the mythic skins and everything. The thing is, people love this game for the world and the lore and everything, and I kind of think if they want Overwatch to be more successful, I actually think they should focus more on expanding the world and lore and hell, maybe even making that PvE side game and just kind of, I don't know. I think the PvP of Overwatch, honestly, it, it kind of, we just need a reset. Like, I don't know, maybe we need a break from it for a little bit. It's clear that the developers just don't really know how to keep the fans happy and that people are only playing these games out of addiction and that's kind of it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and everything. Like I said, I didn't want this to be the most boring, depressed video in the world. I kind of just wanted to get it out because I, I felt like I was going insane playing Overwatch recently. I don't know how much I'll play in the future. Like, I, I probably will, but who knows? Thank you guys for watching. I've been, I just hit my fucking bowl cereal. I've been big citrus. Have a damn good one.